Thank you. Um, on behalf of the Wales Green Party friends, colleagues, I'd like to welcome you to Wales, welcome you to Newport, and welcome you to this Policy Fest, which is probably a much needed day of sane politics in these strange, turbulent times that we're going through. I mean, I'm having conversations with local party officers and everyone's scratching their heads. Are we preparing for a snap general election? Are we preparing for a second referendum? Are we preparing for a European election? The last would be my favourite option, as long as it's because Brexit has been binned. I do somewhat envy those of you in England who do have the certainty of a fixed date for your local elections in May, something to work towards, and elections in which I'm sure the Greens are going to make many gains. I'm equally confident about the London mayoral elections. London electors, London voters, have got the opportunity to elect Sean Berry as their mayor, a truly radical Green mayor. Sean will shake up London and improve the lives and well-being of all Londoners, not just the 1%. Here in Wales, the election date that we're fixing on is the 2021 Welsh Assembly elections. There's a lot of change in the air, potentially a change to the voting system. It's very, looking very likely that votes at 16 will be introduced. This could be and will be a game change for the Wales Green Party, for the Green Party in Wales. We already stepped up our campaign up, up, up a notch. We're really looking towards getting those Welsh Assembly members elected, getting Wales the green elected representation it so desperately needs, so that we can put real teeth into things like the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act and improve the lives and well-being of all in Wales. Now, I've, um, I've only been in this post a couple of months, but I have been going around Wales, visiting local parties, attending their meetings and their AGMs and other events. And what I've been reminded by, by all this and what's struck me is the passion and the appetite that our members have for discussing policy issues. I've sat in on some inspiring and well-informed debates and discussions on a wide variety of policy issues. And for me, this highlights what makes us different. This process of membership-led shape, shaping and forming of policy is so different, so radical, compared to the tired, top-down managerial style of the dinosaurs. And that's why I'm looking forward to a day discussing lots of things with all of you, some really inspiring and challenging conversations. I do have to admit, though, that we do have another ulterior motive for welcoming you to Newport. We are hoping to see some of you here again in the coming months. Many of you might have heard that Paul Flynn, the MP for Newport West, sadly passed away recently. Um, this is after a long period of illness and was, wasn't unexpected. The resulting by-election coming from this will be the first by-election in this new, strange political landscape. Possibly the first post-Brexit by-election. It will be an exciting and different campaign and will be subject to intense media scrutiny. Wales Green Party are very pleased to announce that our candidate for this election will be Green Party Deputy Leader Amelia Womack. I should have said your name earlier. <laughs> As I said, this will be an exciting and different campaign. The old politics is broken. The two-party system is dying a slow and painful death. This campaign, this election, will hasten that. So we're inviting Wales Green Party, Newport Green Party, we're inviting any of you that can to come down in the coming months and join us on the streets of Newport West, campaigning to get Amelia elected, to change the political landscape in Wales and set the foundations for our victory in the Welsh Assembly elections in 2021. On that note, I'd just like to thank you all again and welcome you, and I look forward to some, as I said, some very interesting discussions throughout the day. Thank you. Deal.